made an impression over the season in the first two rounds of the playoffs before bowing out against the Warriors. Yep, they're coming back. Desmond Bain, part of that young core that figures to be a factor for years to come, and he's with us here on Playoff Central Live. Not only with us, but with us from the driver's seat, which may be a first on this show. Desmond, <laughs> uh, good to have you here. Congrats on the season. Looking back, what do you think you and your teammates took from your 12-game playoff run? Man, I mean, the, the best uh, player development in the world is is in the playoffs. I mean, you learn so much about yourself. You learn so much about the team. Um, you know, but in the playoffs, it seems like it's a second-half game, fourth-quarter game, um, you know, making the plays down the stretch, being locked in. Um, discipline for 48 minutes is, is huge. Um, you know, and that's the difference between advancing and, um, you know, unfortunately, seasons getting cut short. You know I mean, looking at how you guys played, and I mean, I'm really speaking to you, to how you kind of evolved, you know, kind of a guy who a lot of people thought came out of nowhere and became a very special player, especially when John ja Morant went down. What brought you guys together doing that run? Man, I mean, it's, it starts with him. I mean, yeah, he might not be on the floor, but, um, you know, he's, he's a vocal leader. Um, you know, he gives everybody confidence, um, you know, and, and it makes us all play better. And, um, you know, I got drafted to a great situation. I mean, I say it all the time, but we're all around the same age. We all love basketball and care about the right things. And, um, you know, it shows on the court. You, Desmond, congrats again on your season. You talked about that chemistry you guys have, and you talked about the, the, the experience with the postseason. What is Desmond Bain's priority and focus in terms of your player development this offseason <laughs> so that you can be the best version of yourself next year? I mean, everything. You know, I feel like I can I can improve so much, but, I mean, um, ball handling for sure, live dribble passing, um, finishing, just little little tricks, um, you know, for one-on-one -on -one and, and being a better one-on-one -on -one player. Um, you know, I feel like there's there's so much more for me to improve on. Offseason my favorite season. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Well, I, I got to assume you're going to be tuning in and watching the little Eastern and Western Conference finals. So I, I want you to handicap game one with Dallas and Golden State, who you obviously know pretty well. What are you, who do you like and why? I like, I like Golden State. You know, I think Dallas is, is playing great basketball, but um, you know, Golden State just has their own unique style. Um, you know, all a bunch of guys that, that move well without the ball. and um, They got guys that can play one-on-one. -on -one. They're versatile defensively. They got a lot of like-sized wings that they can throw at Luka. So, um, you know, I think ultimately it's going to go to six or seven, but I think that uh, Golden State wins the series. Hey, Desmond, when you or, or whoever is matched up against Luka Doncic, what – do we not realize from watching it on TV uh, that they're up against? Desmond, are you there? Did we lose Desmond? I mean, his size. Oh, there you are. There you are. No, I can hear you. It's, it's, it's his size. I mean, his his size is, is the difference maker. He plays at his own speed, but I mean, he's 6'7", 250, 60. I don't know what they consider him at, but um, he puts that shoulder into you, you're going to feel it. And I feel like that's what allows him to, to play that slow-paced game that he plays and kind of get to his spots on the floor. He a, he a big dude, that's for sure. Hey, Desmond, uh, we, we uh, famously saw John Morant hand over his most improved player trophy to you do you still have it? Did you give it back to him? And if so, where is it? It's still, it's still in the same place it was when he dropped it off. Well, it's not in the exact same place, but it's, it's still in my kitchen. He, uh, he out in L.A. right now or wherever he's at. He's somewhere. But um, whenever he comes back in town, it's, it's his. Now, you you're saying on the off season the things that you need to improve on and get better at. What did you learn from the Golden State series playing against Steph and Clay and some of the things that you were kind of surprised about with them in the playoff? So what are the things you're going to try to change on the off season? I mean, they, they don't stop moving. Um, you know, Steph and Clay are are in great shape. 
um, you know, to say the least. I mean, they're seeing top blocks. Guys are being physical with them all game long, not really giving them a lot of space. You still got to find windows to to get shots. You know, I, I was never really a guy, um, you know, throughout most of my career so far that was game plan for it to the level I was in the playoffs. And, um, you know, you got to get creative on, on being able to get looks. So I think taking my cardio to another level will, will definitely help. Yeah, I think it's safe to say you can expect more game planning Desmond, people know who you are now. No question about that. And you, you earned that. Uh, enjoy the off season and safe driving tonight. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Appreciate